Cowboys Corral TV presents the Legends Barbecue Pet Rally. It's time to get ready for the game. Let's talk football with the people who know it best. The Legends of America's team, hosted by legendary Cowboy wide receiver Drew Pearson. That's right, the original 88. And filmed in front of a live audience of hungry Cowboys fans. It's the Legends Barbecue Pet Rally. Welcome. How could you not be excited with an intro like that, right? You only get that in Texas, and you only get that here at the Legends Barbecue Pep Rally right here on CowboysCorral.com. Welcome, everybody. I'm Drew Pearson, your host, and we do a legend show. Thank you. We do a legend show before every high cowboy home game, and tonight we have a special guest as our legend. Over the seasons, we've had some really great guests. We had Tony Dorsett, Everson Walls, Robert Newhouse, people like that. And today, we're continuing that great trend of having great guests here at the Legend Show at the Austin Ranch. And our legend today is an NFL Hall of Famer. That's right. He is a member of the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor. He did play. He did play 14, did you hear me? 14 seasons in the NFL. Guess what? All with the Dallas Cowboys. He was a second round draft pick in 1964 from the University of Oregon. Career stats included 52 interceptions, three touchdowns, five time all pro, Hey, get this, 10, okay, 10. 10 times Pro Bowl, okay, 10 times. And of course, one of the best defensive backs came into the league as a safety. They moved him to defensive back after five seasons, became all pro as a defensive back. But not only that, as he intercepted passes and covered the best receivers each and every game that they faced, but he also returned punts and kickoffs as well and led the league doing that when he first got into the NFL. So help me welcome this Hall of Famer, this Ring of Honor member, number 20, Mr. Mel Renfro. That's right. Yes, didn't I tell you? We keep that legend guest rolling. Mel, thanks for being with us tonight. Looking My good, pleasure, man. Drew. Good to see you again. All right. You know, Mel was a hero of mine when I first joined the Dallas Cowboys. You know, I didn't have much. I didn't even hardly have any shoes. So I used to watch the guys that did the workout on the field and running and stopping and cutting and saw what kind of shoes they wore. And I used to watch Mel, and he had the sweetest feet, you know, when he would run and cut and plant and, and uh, cover that receiver. So I noticed what kind of shoes he was wearing. And so for 11 years in the NFL, I wore the same kind of shoes as Mel Renfro because I watched them. Those uh, uh, Adidas cleats with the rubber cleats, right? These right. shoes with the rubber cleats. You can wear them in grass, aftertoe, anything. Anyway, I used to steal your shoes, Mel. Right, that, and when hey. they were missing, I was right. the one taking That's them, okay? Right. We, <laughs> I couldn't go wrong with Mel Renfro shoes, right? We, we used to wear a lot of shoes. You know, we would change up shoes almost every game, so we had a lot of shoes in our locker room. But, uh, you know, I would notice from time to time that some of mine were missing. <laughs> and after, <laughs> I don't know how long it took, but finally I uh, discovered that Drew was taking my shoes. Yes, <laughs> and the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> Sweet feet. Anyway, Mel, appreciate you being with us. Uh, this is a legend show. Let's first of all find out what Mel Renfro is doing now, uh, now that you're Hall of Famer in your life after football. Well, Drew, I, I, I do a lot of public relations and marketing. I represent several corporations and uh, do a lot of leg work for them. I do a lot of charity work. I travel around the country, probably do 30 or 40 events a year, uh, fundraisers, speaking engagements, autograph signings. Uh, you know, a little golf here and there. So, you know, it's, it's a good life. I've, I've been blessed uh, all my life, and being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame has put me in a, on another level. So it allows me to go around the country and, and do a lot of things. 
So the NFL Hall of Fame committee finally got it right in 1996 in inducting you after all that time. And when you look at your credentials, 10 times Pro Bowl, five times All Pro. How many Super Bowls did you play in? Four. Four Super Bowls. Geez, those kind of credentials it was amazing that they kept you out so long. So after you finally got in, life really has changed for you as an NFL Hall of Famer, huh? Oh, oh definitely. Yes. Definitely. And, and one thing I want to mention, uh, because it took so long for me to get into the Hall of Fame, I got real bitter over a period of years. And after the, the 12th, 13th, and 14th year I wasn't in, I got real bitter and, 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 and had some bad feelings about a lot of things. But Bob Lilly sat me down one day and said, Mel, you're going into the Hall of Fame. He said, you deserve to be there. You're going to be there. It's not a matter of if. It's just a matter of when. And that next year, I went in. And, and I lost, I got rid of all that bitterness. Amen. So when I got in there, I just thanked God and, and, and thanked everybody for finally allowing me to be where I was supposed to be. Yes, amen. <laughs> you know, you know, you, we all know you should have been in sooner than that, but we all know that's probably the right time when it happened because that's God's time. And so, amen, right? So. Well, exactly, you know, and Drew, you know, that there are a lot of other Cowboys that should be in the Hall of Fame, yes. uh, in the Ring of Honor also. Right Yours right truly here. right here should yes. be there. Amen. So we're, uh, we're working real hard and, and striving to get some of our Cowboys in there. Hopefully this year it's going to be Bob Hayes' year. Yeah, he, that's He's on great. the ballot. He's Amen. on the ballot. Hopefully they'll get him in there. And future Ring of Honor, future Hall of Famer sitting right here in this chair. Amen. Amen. But you only get that right here on the CowboysCorral.com on our legend show. But anyway, Mel, Texas Stadium, they're, they're pretty much wrapping it up. Last game, doesn't look like maybe not a playoff game there, so this is going to be it. What's your feelings? Are you sad? Well, I'm sad and I'm glad. Uh, you know, they're moving into a, a new home that's going to be just, you know, just out of this world. We had a lot of great memories in Texas Stadium. I remember the first game there. I was fortunate enough to play in the first game there, and I'll be fortunate enough to be there for the last game. Amen. So it's great memories for me, those old Redskin games. In 1981, I was inducted into the Ring of Honor, which was a highlight of one of the highlights of my life, and just a lot of great memories. Drew and I played a lot of great games there, and it's going to be just fun looking back on those memories, but looking forward to Arlington and the new stadium out there. Amen. But when we come back, we're going to ask the great Mel Renfro what was one of his great moments and great memories of playing in Texas Stadium, and also ask him what he thinks about this year's edition of the Dallas Cowboys. We'll do that when we come back after this.